What is Machina Arcana? We'll come on back after the break for a quick overview of this one to four player cooperative game of exploration with a very strong Lovecraftian theme. <laughs> Welcome out to the show, Board Game Reviews. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to the tabletop gaming hobby, and this channel is 100% sponsor free. So if you enjoy the content and the videos I put out there, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and also if you want to help keep the channel going strong, because remember, 100% sponsor free. Think about tossing a dollar in the tip jar over at Patreon. Just one dollar in the tip jar can help me cover my costs and keep the content coming out there strong. Now, Machina Arcana is a one to four player cooperative game based on the Lovecraftian mythos, where players can be playing through these grand stories, because this is is a chapter based a story based game and it's a game of exploration for one to four players where players are playing cooperatively versus a game but there's a little bit of a twist on that stay tuned for a little bit further on that but the basic idea is players are playing through a cooperative story and the story is going to play out over chapters these chapters have very thematic text and well really cool artwork but the basic idea is these stories have some extremely thematic text where we're going to read a story have some basic objectives and our adventurers are going to be exploring across these boards interacting with the boards with treasure chests looking for chapter goals refreshing and try to do various different things in an effort to defeat the horrors of the lovecraftian mythos while the board continues to evolve continuing to tell the story as we to do various different things such as gaining new gear gaining new weapons leveling up our heroes in a way increasing their stats which allows them to fight more and more tougher bad guys because these bad guys are going to go for anyone from level one all the way up to level four and while they all meet the mythos and the theme of the mythos very very well they're also going to get much more challenging they're going to start being more of a pain in our sight and much more challenging to defeat because like i said our eventual goal is to get to the final chapter of the story defeat whatever the final chapter happens to be in an effort to win this grand campaign. Now the basic game for Machina Arcana does come with three different stories and these stories do play out through the multiple chapters. They evolve differently. Some of them have different endings and different objectives, but the basic flow of the game is gonna be exploring these chapters while we're trying to increase the power of our heroes, while we're trying to understand the horrors that are occurring, while the randomness of the monsters that come out, the events, and I didn't mention the horror-based events and the good events that we can use as we're exploring, as these horrible monstrosities do their best to impede our efforts to go ahead and solve whatever the grand story happens to be. The basic flow of Machina Arcane is the game is going to be playing out over rounds, and every single round is going to start with the explorer phase. During the explorer phase, the explorers get to interact with the board. Either they're going to explore and reveal treasure chests, they're going to advance the chapters, they may even go to locations where they get events that are going to help them, or they may even go to recharge stations, because this is a semi-steampunk theme mix in with a Lovecraftian theme and of course they can also go out there and attack the vile monstrosities that come out there across the board trying to defeat them. Our heroes are going to use stamina to perform actions. They're going to have to watch their life which can slowly trickle down which can bring about their defeat and yes our heroes can be defeated and they're also going to use essence for special powers and also for the ability to advance the storyline. Without the essence sacrificed to the horrible monstrosities we can't advance the storyline and get to the storyline's end. After our heroes go through the exploration phase we're going to go to a spawn phase where more monsters have the potential to come onto the board at various different spawn locations. They are then going to go to the next phase where we're going to experience the possible events and the horrors of the board. And this is going to be a very large horror deck. This is only half of the horror deck itself. These are going to have very thematic effects on a thematic storyline. They're going to advance the storyline and also increase the challenges we must experience. Finally, we're going to go on to the monster phase where the monsters themselves get to activate and they're going to do their darnest to make our lives as miserable as possible because these monsters are trying to kill our heroes. And here's that little point I was mentioning earlier. If one of our heroes happens to be defeated, the hero is dead and now they are going to take control of the monsters. And now the monsters are no longer going to respond to a very simple AI. They're going to be controlled by another player who's doing their darkness to defeat all the other heroes. So this game is a very unique playing cooperative game because unlike most cooperative games where the players are willing to take lots of risks, this is not a game where you want to take risks through this very horrific storyline. This is a game where you want to work as well as a team as possible because you know that as soon as one player is defeated, they're going to start controlling the monstrosities. And at that point, the chances of our heroes surviving are going to start plummeting very, very quickly 
quickly into the drain because these monsters with a full AI behind them are extremely challenging, very devious, and oh yeah, very, very deadly. Now this just has been a quick overview of the game of Machina Arcana, one to four player cooperative game. If you actually want to learn how to play the game, get my full review of the game, or actually see where I played the entire first chapter, the first storyline, sorry, I should call it the storyline, which is broken down to multiple chapters, where I play through all 10 chapters of the very first storyline, Horror in the Ice, that comes with the base game. Go ahead and check out the videos in the series. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down in the YouTube comments down below. I will definitely answer them as quick as I can. You can also feel free to email me off the shelf board game reviews. That is OTSBGR at gmail.com. I do my best to answer those emails as quick as I can. Like and subscribe. Think about to toss on dollar and tip jar over at Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in the series.